Oh man, these things are not what they used to be. Please, stand by for a second. Okay, thank you little Morty Nord for this space dance while well, I was able to finally get rid of my helmet. So, welcome everybody to Mordic Conference Global 2021. It's been only seven months since our first virtual Mordic Conference and the fact that that one had to be online was kind of forced on us. However, it was a tremendous success and we figured that we love the format so much that we want to stick with it. So here we go with our second edition of Mautic Conference Global, bigger and stronger than ever, and I'm glad you're joining us for the event. And by the way, if you miss the way that collaborating and making friends works in real life, we're bringing that back as well in terms of uh, physical events such as conferences, but also sprints. But the power of connecting the global community in one place with no barriers is here to stay. So let's get started. First, I want to show you the agenda that you can find on morticon.mortic.org. Important, all times displayed are in your local time zone, so don't be confused by the hours shown here in my personal view. The next thing is that we're doing two days this year instead of one, and you can switch between them here. When you scroll down, you can see all the sessions and click for details. If you are on mobile, you should switch to the web app for the conference. This works on a desktop browser as well, of course, but on a smartphone it is really helpful. You have lots of options. For instance, you could navigate by speaker or you could filter by language, like Japanese in this case. You can even navigate to the actual talk right here. And speaking of language, you may have noticed that we have five rooms in parallel this year, one of which is exclusively for non-English sessions. We call this the International Room, where we have slots in Japanese, Hungarian, German, Spanish and Portuguese. In these, as well as in the English language rooms, you will find a ton of good content of all sorts. More than any of us can consume, but no worries, we will publish all the talks on YouTube after the event like we did last year. Let me highlight just these special ones. Today, right after the main break, Ruth Cheesley and Dries Bootyard are having a fireside chat on funding in open source. That's good stuff. Then uh, tomorrow in the second time slot, we'll have a panel discussion by the Mordic Community Council members. This one is for you, so please bring all the questions that you can think of. And then, of course, I know you're all waiting for the main keynote by Ruth Cheesley. That one can be found at the center of day two, and I can't wait to hear that overview on the state and the future of Mordek. Do not miss this one. And then we have the community room, where community insights are given, community matters are discussed, but most of all, starting points are presented for everyone to get involved. I want to point you to a sort of speed datings with our four main teams, which are education, community, marketing, and product. Those are lightning talks of five minutes each, where they basically explain what they do and how you can help. These team presentations will start right now, or rather after this opening. Tomorrow, 
we will have a brief presentation on the first Tiger Teams in the Mordic project. Now, the concept of Tiger Teams is still brand new, so let me explain it to you in a nutshell. Tiger Teams are small and highly specialized in, in a certain angle of Mordic, be it forms or be it contact management or reports or whatever. And those teams are holistic, which means that they are not only around coding, but also about end user value, about issues and questions, ideas and improvements, ease of use, etc. They make it really easy to start being an active contributor, even if you are new to Mordic, or if you, like me, are not a coder, or if you are a coder, but still unexperienced. The well-defined and narrow scope allows you to make a difference without having to learn a mountain of things first. So check that out. The Tiger teams presented at this conference are campaigns and webhooks, emails, focus items, and dynamic web content, and user interface. This is what we start with, and you can imagine there will be many more in the future. Again, the goal of each team is to make Mordic constantly better within their scope. Each of those Tiger teams will give a lightning talk and will then meet in the networking area with everybody who is interested or curious. I would really ask you to check the, uh, the agenda and pick those Tiger teams that you might consider and join the presentation and the live meeting. It is, of course, absolutely non-binding and you are welcome to check out multiple Tiger teams before making any decision. Now, I just mentioned the networking area, which is used by the Tiger teams to meet. The networking area is, of course, much more than that. And to get the most out of this conference, I would recommend you to hang out there as much as you can. The way it works is that then whenever someone starts a conversation, for example, with a speaker like this, other people will be able to join that table. And as a rule, that is always encouraged. The area is not for private conversation, but for networking and specifically for connecting with new people, so don't be shy. There are other great things in the conference platform, like a much improved in-session chat option. Or the sponsor booth, of course. Please do check them out too. We are so glad that we have three gold sponsors on board once again, who help us making this whole thing happen. Big shoutouts go to Acquia, to Facet Interactive and to Leuchtfeuer Digital Marketing. And of course to our silver and bronze sponsors, as well as to our training partners who did a tremendous job yesterday already. By the way, the gold sponsors are also on the backside of our beautiful Mautic Conference t-shirts, because as an attendee you do have the con kit, you also received a link for getting a voucher for Mautic merchandising. You should find that in your email inbox. If you have not yet seen this year's design, let me show it to you in our little trailer. And there you go, I hope you liked it. Now, there's only one last thing that I want to ask you today, and that is about the mosaic from last year. It is completely made from photo booth shots of attendees, and we want to do the same thing this year and even better, as sort of a virtual group picture. Please, everybody go to the photo booth located under fun stuff and take a picture or two. It's really fun, and you can of course download the result for yourself as well. And in general, have a great Mordic Conference Global. Be interactive and get the most out of, out of it for you. Most of all, enjoy the event. The Global Mordic family is welcoming you.